verse that says, you know, that, that verse that says we keep our eyes on him and the things of earth will grow strangely dim. Yeah. Um, you guys, most of, most of you guys know that we've been uh, preparing to move into a new house. And we had something kind of, well, we have been, let me back up, okay, I'm all jumbled up here. All right, so we got the permission to move into our new house on Tuesday, and we sold our old house on Friday, and so it made for a very hectic week. And, but something kind of strange happened. I mean, we've been living at the big old blue house there on Wilkinson for... 23 years almost and it's always been home you know that's where we raised the kids it's where everything was done and me and David uh, but they were talking you know that that house is where you keep all your stuff right and as we're moving all of our stuff out of the old house and into the new house um, it's kind of weird that you know, that place that was home and you know the, we, we call our home our dwelling, right? And that's where I'm going with this, is, is that was our dwelling. You know, we dwelled in that house. That meant we were comfortable there. You know, you kick your feet up. And, and uh, ironically, it's the house being empty was just a house, right? There's nothing there. It's just kind of platonic. Just So our dwelling changed back into a house as we're doing this, you know, and and we were more than happy to move into the new one, but it was just kind of a somber feeling that, oh, we're leaving this and we're, we're leaving something that we've been to at for so long. But it is interesting that it, we, you know, our dwelling just kind of became a house. And I was thinking about this as we're going along about, you know, the, the word says that we're to let the word of Christ dwell in us, right? And, and the Spirit is to dwell in us. Now, the Spirit can live in us too, but dwelling means it's comfortable, you know? And it's like, are we allowing the Spirit of God to dwell in us richly instead of, instead of just being an empty house where it's kind of like, you know, kind of cold and, and blank, uh, it should be comfortable, you know? And, and that, that's obviously... Um, has a lot to do with whether we're living in the spirit or in the flesh. But let's go ahead and look at a couple of verses that talk about dwelling and think about that as you, as you read them. And the first one is going to be in Colossians 3.16. And ironically, the, the verse on the cover of the bulletin is, is um, Colossians 3.15. We'll go to Colossians 3.16 and we'll read that one. I got three of them. So we'll go through them quickly. Colossians 3.16 says, I'll kind of wait till I hear pages stop flipping. We'll read 15 to go along with it because it's on the front cover and it's a good one too. It says, and let the peace of God rule in your hearts to the which also ye are called in one body and be ye thankful. And let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs singing with grace in your hearts to the lord so there paul says let the word of christ dwell in you and there's a and you can see the difference between dwelling i mean if you're allowing that word to come and dwell in you you're allowing it to work in you right now you can read the word and not have it dwell in you but but uh, allowing it to dwell in us means it's comfortable. It's, it's doing its job. Uh, the other one is in uh, Romans 8, 9. Look at Romans chapter 8, verse 9. Romans chapter 8, verse 9 says, But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. Now, if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. But he's talking there about the Spirit dwelling in us. So we know that the Spirit does dwell inside of us. And then the last one is Ephesians 3.17.
And this is Paul praying for the Ephesians here, and he's, he prays for them that, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth, length, depth, and height, and to know the love of Christ, which path, passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. So there it talks about that Christ may dwell in your hearts. So hopefully... Hopefully there's a, you can understand the difference between living and dwelling. And hopefully the, hopefully the Spirit can dwell in us as we, as we go through our life. All right, let's go ahead and open in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning and thank you for the opportunity and for the fact that... Uh, that you have made it to where your spirit and your word can dwell within us. Lord, we thank you for the, uh, for the body here and the people that uh, come together to hear your word. And Lord, we pray that as we, as we hear it this morning, that, that would, it would have its effect on us, that we would allow it to have an effect on us, and that it would, uh, would comfort us in our times of struggles and in our times of good of good times. Uh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for all that you've given us. It's in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that we pray. Amen.